Hello everyone. From the previous uh, tutorial, we created the 2D uh, uh, warrant truss like this one. Now we want to extend it to have like a uh, fully bridge uh, as a 3D with a floor uh, system. So we can simply create pattern and uh, choose to select by box selection like this one and just press and drag the, the box to select all elements and apply the geometry we we want to create pattern like this in this direction to be offset in the z direction so we'll press on the direction and choose to be normal on x y plan so it will be something like this and press our uh, offset uh, distance let's say five meters then generate so we have another Warren truss uh, offset by five meters from the original one. Now we will create uh, lines from points to connect these two trusses together and we again single selection. So again, press on the first point, then control to the other point and to connect the cross uh, uh, beams together. And if you want to uh, have pressing uh, if you want to have other uh, elements uh, as a bracing, just connect any point you want to desire uh, to make connection between uh, uh, any point and uh, any other point and uh, press apply. By using this option, add material, we have two options, add material or add frozen. Add material here will give you uh, by default automatically the, the same cross section as uh, uh, the designed uh, beams already so you'll have these cross sections as uh, uh, hollow circular like we created in the previous video here so again this is the default option and you can uh, uh, get some benefits from these default options for simple uh, structures but if you have uh, like more than one uh, cross section, you need to make this uh, one as uh, uh, at frozen because you will have to get different line buds here in the body. So now we will define our flooring. So surface from edges here and just press the edges that's, that will be uh, at the surrounding or at the borders of the surface. and press apply then we'll give it a thickness let's say one centimeter so this is our geometry now we close the geometry and go to the model menu we'll update the stream because we continued from the previous video by the way the default material here is steel you can choose it from the first uh, option like uh, what I said in the previous videos you can check them again here is our geometry we can view the cross-sectional solid and we need to create connections here I'll start from scratch so we can create bond connection. What we want to support is our beam, uh, sorry, is our uh, shell, our uh, slab, and it will be supported by these beam elements. This one and this one and this one. If we didn't use uh, horizontal beams like this, it will treat the, uh, the slab as a one-way slab because there will be no supports here. But in the real case, the floor or the slab will be carried by all the cross girders and all the main girders. And again, we can define our pressure from this menu load, then pressure, we will have the pressure here. The geometry will choose the, the slab to apply. And our supports will be displacement at these points.
and will prevent the motion in the X and Y and Z directions. Zero, zero, zero. Then what we want to show is the total deformations, axial force, uh, force reactions, uh, any other thing you want to add, just press on solution and choose whatever you want. If you want to add the horizon, if you want to add uh, uh, to the analysis uh, on weight uh, to be considered, just press inertial and standard earth gravity, and uh, it will be uh, the default direction is in the z direction. We can adjust it according to our uh, uh, geometry so we'll add it to the negative sorry negative y direction okay now we can solve and here are our total deformations we can see that there is connections here and it is connected uh, to the edges here. If we want to adjust our meshing, uh, of course, we have a, a high deformations. This is uh, just uh, for clarification problem. If we want to uh, get a better uh, distribution for uh, this uh, meshing, we can just get here to the mesh and choose sizing. And and we choose fine here, and also we can add sizing and select the shell element, and the maximum will be let's say ten centimeters and then generate mesh this is the shape of our uh, meshing so now we increase the number of elements and number of nodes so it should take a little bit uh, longer time but anyways this is a very simple problem so this is our deformations here and for the animation let's see, see okay let's give it two seconds this is our definition thank you and again if you want to ask about anything or you want me to simulate any problem just comment me and i'll respond to your comments thanks